Oh yeah, so it's uh, just a quick video on Lemmy from Motorhead, the late great Lemmy of Motorhead. Sort of general overview of his bass style. Um, I start with, he liked E a lot for in intro riffs, so let's pick one, the obvious one, Ace of Spades, right? Something like that. But uh, for so many songs, he just changed the rhythm of his strumming hand. And obviously he was a pick user. I don't know how you do it finger style. So let's say we are Motorhead. So exactly the same notes, but just a different style. So. And I always thought if you just slow it down, you've got um, Stone Dead Forever from the Bomber album. There's loads, uh, Nothing Up My Sleeve from the Orgasmatron album and a few more, uh, Steal Your Face, etc. Exactly the same note, it's just a different style. Um, so he, he said, Lemmy's often said he hated it when the guitar took a solo, especially when there was just the one guitarist in the band, like Fast Eddie era. Um, he said the bottom often fell out of the, um, the tune. You hear that quite a bit of Hendrix recordings. Um, so he, I mean, he used his bass, his bass sound was overdriven anyway. I'm just going for a small Marshall amp. I've just turned the gain up a bit. It's a guitar amp, but he just plays so hard and loud that it would naturally distort his speakers. Um, so he, he, he thickened the sound out that way, but he used a lot of, uh, first of all, power chords. If you listen to, uh, say Motorhead, 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 the song Live Motorhead, just before the chorus, can't give it up and you know it's righteous stuff. Can't get enough and you know it's righteous stuff. So you'd be playing on the D and the G, do a power chord. So just start on a 12 by, you do that quite a bit on the actual chorus of Motorhead. one of the uh, the Lemmy bag of tricks, God rest his soul, um, was um, sort of playing octaves on drone strings. So let's say for the Motorhead riff, the main sunshine bombs up another day, that one. So they're playing the open D and doubling up uh, octave above. So he plays a D on the, on the G string. <laughs> And that became, he carried that on, something like Metropolis off the Overkill album. That's the actual riff beneath uh, Fast Eddie's band. Nah, 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 nah. Eddie, is, uh, Lemmy is doing. Once again, thickening the sound. Um, he was quite happy to actually drop a finger down, actually across three strings. So playing the D on the A, open D and the octave D and doing the old. I guess I'm not, he, he, he was into drone strings. So keeping the D going and something like. Especially in the Hawkwind era, but he carried on with Motorhead. Uh, he does it in Metropolis during the solo, I think. Um, <clears throat> so there's that, and as well as doing the sort of drone string octave thing, again, to thicken out the sound, they often arpeggiate chords, I think that's the word. You hear that in Don't Believe a Word. Oh my God, my mind's gone blank. What album is that off? Overnight Sensation. Overnight sensation. So uh, if we do the... Um, thinking out of sounds. 
Uh, just had a thought of the sort of the octave doubling the drone string. A good example was there's someone at my door. I'm not going to get it. Uh, was um, oh, one second. That's my daughter's. <laughs> good job I got that. Right. Um, where was I? Yeah, something like the Watcher. So for octave doubling, how he sort of weave it into an actual riff, like the opening riff. So do the Watcher. <laughs> hitting all three strings there he's got the open a the uh a on the d and he's playing the he's playing the power chord there uh lemmy was a, a very busy bass player it, it irks me sometimes people say he wasn't technically proficient he he, he blooming well was he was a great bass player uh, a lot of talent um so I mean, even we're just doing the one note thing. It takes some doing. So the obvious one is say overkill, you know. To actually play that and keep up with the drums and stuff is is really hard and takes some some doing. I've I've, I've covered it a few times in bands, and it's difficult. Um, he made it look easy, which is the mark of an expert, in my humble opinion. Anyway, um, I think though sort of fast songs are mentioned often like Overkill and stuff, one that really sort of really fast was uh, Mean Machine off the Orgasmatron album. So, you know, it starts off that <laughs> guitar riff and Lemmy comes in with the drums. <laughs> but once it gets going, the drums came in, Pete Gill came in. Lemmy's playing something like this. So he's catching all the sort of the the diddle the diddle those sort of beats by doing the sort of with his left hand. Um, so that was a very fast song. I think at the birthday party he said we may not be the best band in the world, but we're definitely the fastest after they did that song. A birthday party in '85, ten years. Um, I can't think of much more to say. I mean, there's loads as soon as I turn this video off, but I don't want to go on too long. Uh, bass solos, he did a number of those. Stay Clean, I think, was the one that comes to mind right now. This sort of... Something like that. Sorry, my rhythm's a bit off today, but I'm I'm a bit nervous making this video actually. Don't know why, but I am. Um, but that's so he did a number of bass solos. That's one of the fastest ones I can think of. Uh, he was quite happy staying in the sort of basic blues blues scale or pentatonic scale. Uh, he went very much from that. He's sticking passing notes or blue notes. Um, so yeah, but, uh, <clears throat> anyway, so that's a kind of brief heads up on Lemmy's style. He played it hard, he played it heavy, he played it loud. Um, I think he was much, much better technically, I said before, not to go on, but I think he's much better technically than a lot of people give him credit for. I mean, Motorhead as a whole, um, when you're coming out in 79, I mean, they just changed the face of music as far as I'm concerned, but I'm a bit biased because I'm something of a fan. I was lucky enough to see them three times and I was in a band that was managed by Foster D. Clark. So I met him, shook his hand and that just blew me away. I was 22 or 23 at the time. Anyway, well, rest in peace, guys. And uh, the Motorhead's part, Motorhead members who have passed. And I uh, hope you got something from this. Cheers.